smartphone, successor to the popular Z1. It's got a 4K video camera as well as a triluminous display. As you might expect of a smartphone that only comes five months after the debut of its predecessor, the Sony Xperia Z2 doesn't really benefit from a huge amount of extra power in terms of processing speed and memory. What you do get, however, is 4K video footage capability and a much more colourful display. The Xperia Z2's video camera benefits from a whole new range of features. You can now record with time shift video that allows you to record at a really high frame rate so that when you replay back the video you're able to make it look like it's in slow motion. This is something we've seen before in the likes of the iPhone um, 5S and even some Sony handsets but it's new to Sony's range of, smart of smartphones. There's also what they call the AR effect and that allows you to add computerized dinosaurs and anything you wanted to terrorize your young ones then you can watch the whole effect back like you've recorded a movie on your TV or just on the handset itself. Finally we have what Sony are really showing as part of the, the real benefit of the Z2 and that's the way that this phone can record in 4K. Now that's not so much use to you if you're just using the phone, the videos on the phone itself. However, if you're an early adopter of 4K TV, this is a great way of being able to watch videos using the full, the full resolution that 4K offers. Unfortunately, the news for the regular still camera isn't quite as good. It still features the same camera technology as in the previous Z1, but there's really been no improvement here, which means you still get the same 20.7 megapixels, which when we tested the Z1, we weren't always that impressed with. <coughs> A common characteristic of the Z1 series has actually been that the phones are always waterproof too and that goes to also as far as the tablets. Now the Z2 takes the waterproofing a step further and while you still have to seal some of the sides of, the, of where the micro SD slot might go or where you might charge the phone, you can now leave where your headphones go completely unsealed. In terms of pure horsepower, well the Z2 is slightly better than the Z1 but not massively so. It has a 2.3 gigahertz um, quad-core Snapdragon processor, where before there was a 2.2 gigahertz processor. It has three gigabytes of RAM, where before there were two gigabytes of RAM, which will all benefit the, you know, the speed and how apps open and what you can run on the phone. But really, I'm not sure you'll see a massive difference. I think the Xperia Z2 is a really exciting phone. It certainly has amazing display technology. I like the fact that I can record in 4K video. I don't actually own a 4K TV now, but you know, maybe one day. The only trouble is for me, the rumoured price, I mean, without really going into specifics yet, because Sony haven't confirmed it, they did say it was going to be, you know, a high premium price. And right now at that price bracket, we're talking five, maybe 600 pounds, there's a lot of competition out there. We'll let you know exactly how good it is once we get it to the Witch Test Labs and put it through its paces sometime in March.